fucking another nerd stalking me. Okay, we're live. We're welcome to another nerd stalker interview. Uh, this is Greg Warrior, aka Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Stalker Media Network. Well, you know, today we'll be speaking with Ariana Pierce, a founder and entrepreneur of Superstar Nail Lacquer. It's a fashion nail polish company and style shop, an online accessories company. So, uh, anyway, good morning, Ariana, and welcome to Nerd Stalker Live from Orlando, Florida, right? Yes, thank you so much for having me on today. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> yeah, no, this is going to be good. Um, and, and today, we're, you know, we're going to talk about, um, and Ariana is going to kind of uh, take a chapter out of her, her new book. Um, how, do you, how do you create a quality blog? You know, I, I see a lot of articles out there on just creating a blog. Right. But, but I think I want to take it another step further with you and talk about how do you create a quality blog that someone's going to come back to and, and, and subscribe to and, and all those yeah. good things. So anyway, why don't you share a little bit uh, about yourself with the nerd soccer audience? Okay. Awesome. Well, like you said, my name is Ariana Pierce and I've been on this entrepreneurial journey since about the age of 13 years old. So I'm 25 now. Um, I'm still young. I get in my mind. I'm like, Oh, I'm getting so old. But, um, everyone tells me, no, you're still pretty young. <laughs> so I've been doing this thing since I was about 13 years old. And, um, I wrote my first book then, and I started a business with my mom and different things like that. And over the years, I just had this thing for entrepreneurship. I said, I want to put my name on something. I want to own something. So when I got really serious around the age of um, 17, going on 18 years old, I was graduating from high school. And I said, you know what? I've had businesses, but now I want to go big. I want something that the world knows about, not just my community. And so that's when I started the Superstar Nail Lacquer Company, which is a fast drying and environmentally friendly nail polish company. And um, I started that and it just took off. I mean, it took a lot of work we put into it. Um, I started with my mom as well. She was all, she used to have a cosmetic company. So she knew all about chemicals and formulas and different things like that. So I used her help. And then she got really busy with her life coaching and said, I can't do this. I've helped you start it. Now you have to take it and run with it. So that's what I did. I was going into my freshman year at Michigan State University. I had this business. I'm like, what in the world? How am I going to do class and do this business and make it successful. I have all, I have like 10,000 bottles of nail polish sitting, you know, in my office. What am I going to do with this? And so that's when I really had to become creative. And that was the start of the whole internet business and growing your business through Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And I started to use those things because I didn't have a lot of marketing dollars. And um, through that, that's where I started my blog that we're going to talk about today and how you can use your blog to even profit in your business. And so that's a little bit about my history. That's the fast version of it. But that's really how I got started in um, in entrepreneurship. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I saw a couple um I saw a couple of pictures of of you and your mother. I guess yeah. it was another sibling as well. I, yep. I don't know. I saw that, and yep. and yeah, I I think you had to be at least thirteen then, or something like yep, that. Exactly. I was like, like it was a great picture because it, it <laughs> kind of showed the kind of a lineage, and and, and right. obviously you've learned from your mother over the years as well, right? right? Yeah, I, I mean that sure. that's nothing an MBA school could actually teach you. So, right. <laughs> so. Or just be mentored by someone. That's very true. Yeah, no, and it's it's great. It's a family member. I mean, that's that's where the heart is. So it's really a nice thing. So let, let's let's start talking about you know what what are the key elements you think um, that should be part of Kali blog, and why is it important? Yeah, well, a blog is. I believe that everyone, especially if you're an entrepreneur, you should have a blog. Nowadays, when people think of blogs, they think of fashion bloggers because that's what's popular. You know, when you say blogger, you, the first thing most people think about is, oh, fashion blogger, because they're on the forefront. That's what people are using. Companies are using them. But I believe that blogging is beneficial to any type of business, whether you have a tech business, a fashion business, a home, whatever type of business you have. A blog is great because it's a place to hold your content. And when you look at it from that aspect, that's when you'll really get into blogging and start doing it consistently. Um, you know, nowadays, one of the questions that I get a lot is, how do you market your business without sounding salesy? 
you know, without always trying to put out an ad or um, somebody like, hey, buy my product, buy my product. Well, a blog is your answer. I found that to be my answer where when you create a blog, that's where you can put content, how to use your product, um, why your product is important, what makes it different from other people's all in one place. And it causes them to buy your products consistently and you gain a following from it. But um, a few of the things, you know, I have five tips that uh, every blog needs and um, I'm sure I'll add more but here's just a few of them but the first one that I that I would like to point out is that you should always decide on your vision so whether you started it or you're going to start you need to decide what is your vision for this blog just like your business what is your vision what are you going to be talking about and then of course the next question is well how do I know what my vision is <laughs> well your vision is um, something that you're passionate about what are you talking about what is your business involved if you're into clothing talk about clothing if you're into tech tools talk about tech if you're into um, you know home and baking talk about that what are what is your vision for your blog because if you just start without a vision then you're gonna seem all over the place and um, I think that's where a lot of people start to mess up because they don't have a vision uh, the next thing that you want to do is do your research that is so important to do your research when you're starting your blog. Um, find out what other people are talking about. Get books, get material, get insight, get information. And that's where I came, um, that's where the idea for how to build your blogging business in a week came from. I created that book and I put down, you know, I was getting these questions. How do, how do you start a blog? How do you do this? How do you stay creative? And I put that on an all in a book for bloggers because it's an easy way where you can you can go pick up the book, read it, and there you have your answer. And so you have to go back and do your research if you want to stay relevant. Hey, I had a question for you. Yeah. I, I get this question all the time. Yeah. It's like, what tools do you use to stay kind of like on top of it and and and, yeah. and, and be relevant? You know, yeah. what do you use? Yeah, well, one, um, I use lots of books. So I'm always reading about my field. I'm always reading about fashion. I'm always reading about business, entrepreneurship. Magazines are helpful. Um, looking at articles, reading other blogs. I go to conferences. Conferences are super important. People think that, you know, being creative takes investment <laughs> and that people want to be creative off of just the top of their head. They think that the most, you know, these creative bloggers and people coming up with these genius idea or ingenious ideas are just, oh, just sitting there and it just comes to them. No, people are going out, getting information, going to conferences, um, investing in themselves. And that's really how you build a quality mm -hmm. blog. And that's how I did it by investing in myself. Wow. Okay. Well, let's continue. Uh, the, yeah. that, that, that's great advice. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. The third one is that um, the third thing that you should have for a quality blog is to get quality pictures. Now, um, that doesn't mean you have to spend a million dollars on photos. And I know that can sound intimidating because when you think of photographer, you know, depending on where you live, they can be very expensive, especially if you're in areas like LA, New York, they're like, oh, two thousand dollars for three photos you're like what three photos <laughs> what can i do with that you know so um you know it can be expensive but what i mean by quality photos is just taking your time with your photos you know use your resources when i was starting out i didn't have a professional photographer taking pictures of me i got my family and my friends the best person in my crew you know it was my brother actually and he's taller so he can get get really good pictures and so i said hey ryan can you go and get this picture of me you know we go out we use our phones at first but i would go in the daytime when it was bright and sunny that's when you have the best lighting and so when you don't have a professional camera you can do tricks and different things with professional cameras but when you have a phone it's best to take it in the daytime so i would go out daytime take my pictures and they would look great and then over time as i started to build my blog people were reading it i said okay now it's time to take it to the next level. I was starting to get paid through my blog because the pictures were coming out really clear. And so I went to someone and I actually did a deal with them. And I shouldn't, you know, I, I think I'm sharing a lot right, right now, but it's okay, I'll give you my secret. <laughs> so um, I went to someone and I said, um, 
and said, hey, I'm going to be using you for a whole year. Let's make a deal. I don't want to pay you $1,000 for every photo shoot. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you a price that I can do and I'm going to keep you in business because I'm going to keep coming back to you over and over again. And I and they were like, hmm, let me think about it. I said, well, you can think about it, but I'm sure your other clients aren't coming to you as often as I am. So you're always going to be getting some type of cash flow from me. Um, every month. And they said, you know what? That's a good idea. And so, <laughs> you know, of course, because they want that consistent money coming in. And so that's what happens when you're starting your blog, when you're doing things and you're trying to get things done, you have to create deals with people. You have to barter, you have to do different things and just get it done. And that's how I got it done. And so there's different things. And then over time, you know, now my boyfriend is my photographer. Thank God. You know, he, he got really good with the camera and he can do it. So now over time, it's become much easier. But in the beginning, I had to do what I had to do with my resources. So, right. So <laughs> you just got to, you just have to go with it. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Right, exactly. Okay. So you just got to start. And then after that, it'll come to you. And then um, number four, the fourth thing that you should do for a quality blog is to decide on your blog name. Now, actually, you should do this towards the beginning. It, this isn't really in order, but these are just a few things that you should have. But um, what is your blog name? Have it be something catchy, something that people can spell. I know sometimes when people tell me their blog names, I'm like, uh, I don't know how to spell that unless you write it down for me, you know? And when you're talking to people and you're sharing, you want something catchy enough and quick enough where they can, okay, write it down or at least put in the keywords and they'll find your blog. If you make it too, too hard, then most people are, they're going to be like, oh, I'll forget about it. And then you're, you're going to wonder why your blog isn't growing as fast. So that's another key thing. The last thing is that you really should have great content and great content and material comes from planning. And um, I know, you know, people say like, oh my gosh, how do you come up with new content every week? Or people are putting out blog posts three and four times a week. It's all about being organized and planning ahead. For example, for the month of December, we know that Christmas is coming up. We know that there's all these different holidays in the month of December. Uh, we know that people are shopping right now, that people need holiday gift guides. So if you were prepared in advance, you would know, okay, that's at least three or four posts right there. You know, holiday posts, um, gift guides, you have um, how to go to a party, a Christmas party for work, how to dress for that or what to bake or what type of tech tools are perfect for the Christmas season or whatever it is. But when you plan ahead, that's when you have the best content. And so, um, and that's how you stay in the know again about getting new material, reading, um, seeing what other blogs are doing at the time. And that's really how you stay relevant. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for all those, all those tips. tips. I, I yeah. Really, really appreciate appreciate it. It. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. No, I, you know, I, you know, let's go back to some of them because I, I, I was just kind of thinking about it. It's like, you know, I agree the planning aspect is really critical right. because, you know, it actually, I think it de stresses you out too because you could yeah. actually, plan multiple ones and i think i read one of your blogs recently about the planning aspect of it yeah. which we you felt was very important and you know please everyone go to go to her blog on her on her website and we'll give you the information later on at the end when, when we sign off but but um she she brought a good good point up that that actually you don't have to stress yourself out and, and make sure that you could write something like for the next day or whatever you could right. actually you could actually um write a, a bunch of them and schedule them out, you know, right. and, and if you, if you do your play right, as she said, it will work out and actually give you less stress. So. That, I mean, that's so true. I mean, um, I, I recommend writing out at least 10 blog posts and you can just keep that in your archives or whatever, you know, for those emergency moments where you don't have time to blog and, or, you know, maybe something comes up because realistically, you know, they say, okay, you need to blog three, four times a week, do this consistently, boom, boom, boom. But life happens. Things come up. Maybe your child gets sick. Maybe you have to, emergency comes up. Maybe you have to go to the hospital or visit someone, or maybe somebody comes in town and you didn't know about it. So there's things that happen in between of our, in between our planning. So that's why it's good, like you said, to have your blog post already done. So that way in those moments you can say, oh, I have that post about 
this or, you know, about this topic and I can just do it. And then of course you fill it in. And then there's going to be times where it's just spur of the moment post. I've had that too. So don't get so caught up on planning that you can't insert, you know, think current events, you know, maybe something is popular, maybe a new song is hot or, you know, something just came out or the presidential election or, you know, some, whatever you're talking about, maybe you're a political type blogger. Um, don't be afraid to insert things right in the moment and catch the wave as well, the current event wave. And, and, and all these tips you gave, like staying current helps all this, right? I mean, if you yeah. stay current, you'll know something that's coming exactly. up. Exactly. If you know it's something coming up, you could write something about it, right? Exactly. If you're always reading and doing your research and looking up other people and connecting with others, then you're going to know about it. You're going right. to, you know, Right. Well, the, you know, gosh, th this is great. Well, you know, let, let's talk a little bit. I, you know, I know, I know, you know, part of this is in your book and it's a, it's a great guide. So, yeah. you know, let's talk a little bit about your book about uh, how to build your blogging business in a week, which is a kind of pretty catchy title. I'll, I'll, I'll admit it makes me want to buy it. So, you know, what do you people expect to learn from the book? Uh, you know, I mean, I know this quality part is part of it, but right. what, are, what are some of the other aspects that they expect to get from that book? Yeah, well, in the book, I write, really, I'm sharing my story about how I started my blog. Mm. And, um, you know, if you just sit down and just get organized and just think, it really can come to you. But you'll learn about the benefits of blogging. Like, people really want to know, what can I really get out of blogging? You know, besides just free stuff. The free stuff is good, but there's more to it. You can actually turn this thing into a business. I mean, we're seeing bloggers now who are really the face of a lot of companies, they're the you know people are using bloggers more than uh, they're using TV celebrities or different things like that because they have the influence. And so it's really showing you like the benefits that you can really have from taking a blog and really getting serious about it. It's also like you said a checklist for a quality blog. What do you need? Sometimes you don't know. You know, when you're starting out, you don't know the answer. You have to go and research. And so in that book I give you the uh, a checklist for how to start your blog, what you need, um, different platforms you can do, uh, different topics, how to come up with your topics. So that's really um, a, a great part of the book. And then also how to set up your blog to become your money maker. So you can have a blog and then you can have a money maker. And um, I give you the secrets besides, you know, just the normal collaboration. Collaborations are great. How to get uh, more collaborations, how to work with brands, how to build your own business, like I was saying earlier, and integrate that into your blog. You know, when you go to my site, I'm not just talking about one, you know, like just fashion, but what I do is I like to mix business in that because I am an entrepreneur, I am a business coach. So a lot of my blog posts, even though they're girly and fun and eat guy, a lot of guys like to read them. Thankfully, um, you know, I guess good for good, good information is good information, but, um, but, um, it does mix the two where it's okay. It catches your eye with maybe some fashion, maybe some bright colors, but at the end you're going to leave with some type of material. And I show you how to add that to your blog as well. Wow. Fantastic yeah. stuff. It's, um, a lot of, it's a smaller book, but it's a lot of information packed into it. Yeah, and and you know, I think what's helpful is what you said earlier. It's you're you're actually passing on your learnings where you burned your fingers, where you learned, right. and, and and you consolidated into a, a book that allows people to actually learn from you, right? So right. it's a great thing. You're you're being their mentor on in in starting a blogging business, right? So yeah, I wish someone would have took my hand and said, "Hey, this is how you do it." You know, I've had to learn. I'm. You know, I started my blog and it was terrible. I don't even want to bring up how it looked or my pictures from back in the day. But over time, you learn, you know, and I had to learn the harder way. But I said, well, if I could help people get to their desired outcome much faster, then why not? Why not put it in a book? You know? Yeah. And, and you know, over, geez, in the, in the short amount of time you've been doing it, you know, seven years, right. you know, um, technology has changed. Right. Exactly. Technology has has enabled the <laughs> bloggers to do a better job. Right. Yeah. So, um, you know, with Instagram and other other, oh, other yeah. vehicles. Right. So platform. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And, and you discuss that in the book as well. So. Yeah. So. So anyway, uh, let, let's close off the interview. And I, I really am grateful for you to come on and actually teach our audience um, uh, how to how to build a quality blog, not just a blog, but a quality blog. Um, how can people get a hold of you and uh, get a hold of the, your blog and get a hold of your book? Yeah, well, 
I'll make it easy. Everything can be found at arianapierce.com. And so I know I have a million, I'm like, I have Instagram, Facebook, all this, all these different platforms, but you can find me at arianapierce.com. And there you'll find my blog, my material, my book, and different things that I have uh, where you can learn how to build your business and your blog. And then of course, my Instagram and Twitter is Ari the Heiress. And, um, yep, that you can look up Ariana Pierce or Ari the heiress on Twitter, Instagram, and you'll find me. So that's okay. Wow. Well, thank you again. Um, anyway, that was Ariana Pierce, uh, founder and entrepreneur and author of of a good book, uh, how to build your blogging business in a week. And, and anyway, uh, you know, she's kind of, she'll teach you all about uh, blogging, which is what we do here on nerd stalker. So I'm going to have to learn from this book as well. So anyway, um, Thanks for joining us, everyone. This is Greg Gloria, a.k.a. Social Greg, on Twitter for the Nerd Soccer Media Network, where we believe in tech, startups, design, and you. Thanks for joining us, everyone, and be careful out there. Thanks again, Ariana. Appreciate that. Thank you for having me. Thank you.